This is the Black Girl Fragrance Tag. My voice doesn't sound like her. Who am, what am I trying to do? Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're well. As the title tells, we're doing the Black Girl Fragrance Tag today. These are my perfume picks. Leave yours down below. As you already know, I'm a huge fragrance fiend, so I'm super excited to do this. I can't believe this tag has been going around. My cousin just sent it to me yesterday, and I said, today, we're gonna talk about my fragrances. So, I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, tap the like and let's go. I think the first thing she said is, what's your most sentimental fragrance? So my most sentimental scent has to be Jo Malone Mirror and Tonka. It's one of my newer fragrances, but I don't know what it is. It reminds me of something from my past I can't put my finger on. So to me, that's a sentimental vibe. Whenever I wear this, oh, I just, it feels so cozy. Mm, mm. It's this one and the blue agave cacao for me. What's your most complimented scent? Without a doubt, this Killian scent is slept on. It's called Rolling in Love. Good Girl Gone Bad, Love Don't Be Shy, Angel Share. That one is everything, but this one is next level. The red bottle should already tell you what time it is. Every single time I wear this, I get asked, what is that? or that smells so good. It's the almond, I'm telling you. I've smelled a couple nutty fragrances, but nothing hits the way this one does. It just gives me all the sophistication, the sleek sexiness that I'm looking for in a fragrance. Mm. I swear this is what heaven smells like. House of Killian don't play. All of their fragrance stay all day. I used this in a video I filmed for you guys last night. I had two showers since then, and I still smell the fragrance. Even though this is a very pretty penny, it is worth every single cent for this scent. What fragrance makes you feel the prettiest? It have to be Bon Bon Couture by Victor and Roth. This, I mean, out of all the bottles is the prettiest one in my collection. The scent is just so feminine and just very pretty. It's, this is one of the very first perfumes I bought myself that cost a bit, but compared to some others on the list, this one's the Goldilocks in between. It's the caramel, I'm telling you. It's not too sweet, even though the name implies that it would be sickly sweet. It's just right. When I spray this on, I say, this was made for me. I hope they never discontinue this one. I bet you thought the next one would be the one I'm most confident in. Psych, it's actually a vial that I had in the back of the back. I refuse to buy a full size of this. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I buy fragrances, they turn on me before I finish them. So the smaller the bottle, especially if they're potent perfumes like this, the better off I am. And this is Black Opium Intense. They weren't playing when they called it intense, as if the original wasn't intense. I don't even remember what the notes are in this. I think it's coffee, some kind of musk, and I don't know what. This perfume ain't nothing to play with. If I mean business, I spritz this. I've had this for two years and I haven't even used half a vial. That lets you know I only take this out for serious situations. This is my night out perfume. When I'm up to no good perfume. Doing things I'm not supposed to be doing perfume. This is a whole vibe. It's also my second vial. The first one I spritzed twice, put in my Gucci bag. Broke that night, stained my Gucci bag. I bought this back the next day because I said, what's in the past is in the past, but this fragrance is gonna last. Oh. I love me some black opium. What's a fragrance that every black girl should have? The person who made this tag showed three vials. I'm a tie between two bottles. So the first one is the YSL Montpellier. This is everything to me. It's giving a feminine vibe without being too floral, too fruity. It's not too anything. It's just very balanced. I feel like no one ever talks about this perfume. It must be a hidden gem. And the package does look like a gem, so. Very fitting. Mmm, the only thing is this does not last nearly long enough. By the time I put this on, get dressed, it's already gone. But if you wanna use the hacks I have to make your perfume last, this one is everything. For someone who likes a more sensual scent, Ebony Wood, I think this is Jo Malone X Zara. Mmm, a year ago, I would have said this ish stank because it's totally not what I'm used to. I'm so happy I gave it a try though. Mm, mm, mm. If you've seen it on the gram, there's a reason why. This, <sighs> there's something very dark and mysterious about it. It's leaning on masculine without giving a cologne vibe. It pairs so well with any of these perfumes, but usually I will spritz one of this into that. 
it's giving rich bitch on a budget. Just like everything else in Zara, you can come out looking clean while keeping your coins in the account. Those are my picks. Like I said at the top of this, share yours with me down below. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Tap the like if you like my fragrance videos. I wanna do one in the spring because I'm hoping to up my spring fragrance game. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you for making it to the end of another one. Until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.